All right, right now, the room that I'm recording all these videos out of is an absolute mess. I have cords everywhere, I have keyboards all over the place, it's just not very organized. And I have a couple different projects coming up that is going to fix that. Uh, one of the big things coming up is I'm going to turn my computer that's sitting over there, the desktop computer, into a rack mounted system in this server cabinet that I have uh, my camera sitting on currently. So that's my main desktop. I have another little mini PC right there that I'm going to be using for distribution reviews. So instead of loading up everything in a virtual machine all the time, I'll be on actual hardware for those videos. And additionally, I have another media server in this server cabinet that hosts Jellyfin and a couple other things. Now actually managing these three different computers that I use on a daily basis is kind of a hassle, but thanks to MariaBox, they sent over this. This is a KVM switch. It's a four in one out switch that is going to allow me to connect my keyboards and monitor into one input and have the three different computers output and have a switch to go easily in between the three different computers. And on this actual switch, it's only USB 2.0, so that's really only negative, but I really do only plan on connecting the uh, mouse and keyboard to it as I want my printer and my webcam and all that on my main computer anyways. So first unboxing, I'm not gonna zoom into it because there's really not too much in here, but it comes in this little brown box. So let's go ahead and open it up. There it is, just sitting right on top. You can kind of see the switch there. Just pull it out. And I mean, it's fairly good size. You can see it in my hand here. If I let it focus on it real quick, that is the switch. According to the Amazon page, it should work perfectly fine with Windows, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Mac OS, uh, Raspberry, and so it should work with just about everything. On the front here, you see the four buttons to switch between four different inputs. I'm only gonna be using three at the moment, but then we have the USB over here. Two are specifically for keyboard and mouse, but we have some extras. And then there are the lights to indicate what computer you're currently uh, outputting. After a quick Google search, the uh, input is a USB type B cable. So here we have the inputs that are USB type B. Additionally, you can see the four HDMI inputs and the power right there. And I mean, this thing's a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. This right here is a OnePlus Nord and it's the exact width of the cell phone, but it is a little bit taller, so it's a it's a pretty good size. In this box, we have a little instruction pamphlet, and we have four of the USB Type-B cables, so that's really good because I know I only have one of those laying around, so it's awesome it includes these. I'm not sure how long they are, but they look long enough. So you can see we have all four of them here, so that is wonderful. Additionally, we have a little power cable here. This uh, AC adapter gives a 12 volt output. So with the unboxing complete, I'm gonna go ahead and actually set this up. I'm gonna plug all three uh, computers into it and see how easy it is to switch between everything. All right, so I have the switch set up now. You can see there are a lot of different things plugged into this. I have three different HDMI cables, four USBs. I have my keyboard and mouse. If I go ahead and take a closer look here, you can kind of see what I was talking about with the dedicated keyboard and mouse and we have USBs here too that we could use as well and be able to switch in between these different computers. So what I have here on input one, I have my main desktop computer. You can see right now I'm running Audacity. I have a secondary monitor there. That's my main computer back there. And over there is my media server. If I can zoom in on it. It's just a little mini PC. It definitely does the trick. And then if we pan down over here, you could see another mini PC. And this is the one that I'm going to be doing those uh, distribution reviews on. So as far as my monitor setup here, you can see I have a 32 inch 1440p display. And right there, I have an ultra wide 1080p display as a vertical monitor. That's really nice because I go throw like OBS Studio, uh, Discord, a whole bunch of things over here and not interfere with my main workflow on this monitor. So with the switch, at the moment, it only supports one HDMI input per uh, computer. So for my main computer, this 32 inch is what will actually be able to switch. So this screen will switch in between the three different computers that I have going on here, and this will stay the same. And that's cool because I'll be able to use this ultra wide while I'm using other computers for recording and things like that. 
and that's what this is for here. That is always plugged into my main computer as a little Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad so I can control my main computer all the time as well as whatever computers inputted. So with all that rambling out of the way you probably want to see this demonstrated. So right now you can see I have three different computers hooked up to it which are those green light indicators. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply switch to my second computer. You're going to hear a beep and both of the screens went black and when it comes up this right here the second input is that VMAX computer right there so you can see a cursor if I go ahead and grab my mouse and move it around a bit sorry about that the uh, distribution I actually have on that VMAX PC over there is having issues so I need to reboot but it works fine you saw the mouse work over there there's still my main computer running and you can see that VMAX PC booting up right now let's say real quick I wanted to go to my third input which is my media PC so I would just hit the button again and now it's gonna switch over to just a normal server or console because this is my media PC so now if I go over and type in NeoFetch like so you can see this is my Ubuntu media server and then at any time let's go ahead and just switch back to my main desktop computer and you can watch and see what it does it moved those windows back to where they were and it, now my main computer is open up here and now while we're on our main one let's finally switch to that second one because I got it rebooted and it should be fine now and you can see that monitor switched over there I'm just waiting for this one to connect there we go the actual system here if I go over to uh, system information it's a uh, Nitrix or Nutrix whatever uh, it's not the best Linux distro, so I probably should have installed something else for this demonstration. But, I, I mean, this works perfectly fine. Overall, this thing is fantastic. Let's go ahead and uh, let's plug in this USB real quick here. So if I go ahead and slide this in to the USB, it should recognize on this computer. As you can see that this is a VIN toy USB. And now if I go ahead and switch inputs, let's just go to my uh, main computer here and it should recognize the USB when I go ahead and switch over. I got some audio input, and if I go over to my files, which is up over there, so let's find my mouse and drag this down, we have Ventoy right there. So the USB thing works fine. Unfortunately, it's 2.0. There's probably a model that's 3.0, but I'm not 100% sure. But for this use case and what I'm gonna be using it for, this thing thus far is absolutely magnificent and as far as placement goes i'm definitely not going to leave it here on the desk that computer is going in here so this will probably either be right here or right there uh, to be determined later in a future video so if you're interested oh this isn't it that's the box <laughs> so if you are interested in picking one of these up there'll be a link down below to get it on amazon uh, at the moment i think it's about 120 dollars uh, but every once in a while there's coupons, so you can probably get it for around $100. But, fairly awesome device. It's definitely going to help me once I get everything else set up. I have it, I took it apart and disconnected it now because once I start doing everything else, it's going to need to be unplugged anyways, and that's going to be happening in about two days. The server case, or the uh, server chassis computer case, is supposed to get here on Monday. And that is in two days, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I'm still debating whether or not if we're going to live stream me building that so you all can watch me struggle, or if I'm going to turn that into a normal video like this. Uh, with all that said, thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you guys so much for your support. And thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members if you're interested click the join button down below or head over to Patreon to support the channel over there. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff, and good.